Well folks, a very good morning to you. Welcome to Lincolnshire, Cockney Kaika here. Good to have your company as always. Um, Sunday morning, it's about seven o'clock and um, just finished loading the van and we're off on to the uh, Fosdyke navigation this morning, me and Craig, for a paddle up towards Saxelby Village Moorings where we're gonna cook some breakfast, hopefully. Um, seems a nice morning, a bit chilly, no wind, so really looking forward to it. Um, Craig's gonna be here shortly and uh, I'm gonna just finish off um, my cup of tea and uh, make tracks so I'll catch up with you once we get there. Catch you soon. Well, finally got here, taking about a 25 minute drive from my house here to onto the uh, to the Fosdyke navigation. And uh, dead flat calm this morning. We're gonna have a paddle in this direction up to a place called Saxelby Village Moorings, it's about four mile. We're gonna be passing Burton Waters on our right hand side. It's quite a fancy place that, uh, river cruisers stuff like that it's about a mile um, in that direction but we're going to carry on and go to um, Saxelby Village Moorings which I have been before I actually launched there before and a uh, really nice place to get out stretch the legs really comfortable no mud don't get covered in mud um, so yeah lovely morning um, narrow boat first time I've ever seen a narrow boat here on the this part of the navigation Looking smart. Yeah, so um, I'm pretty much ready to to launch. Got my uh, my faithful uh, Go Plus once again. There she is. There's all my kit. I've got this new seat to try out because I normally I normally use a seat like a stadium seat with a, a gel. Put one of those gel seats on the bottom but this one is all padded um, so I'm just wondering whether it's going to be a little bit more convenient I don't particularly like the camouflage but I know yeah I do so uh, yeah I'm going to try that in the boat see how we get on with that and um, just waiting for Craig just getting himself ready and um, We're going to be setting off very, very shortly, so I'll catch up with you once we're on the water. Finally on the water. There's Craig. Morning, Craig. Morning, mate. Good weekend so far. Yeah, not bad. Not good, bad. good. So uh, Craig was just saying it was forecast some rain, you know, shower, wintry showers this morning, but uh, apparently that's changed and um, that's blown over. <laughs> Give the pun. So we're just gonna. Oh, let's just get myself away from that bank before I crash. So yeah, we're just gonna have a steady plod up to. Uh, um, Saxelby and it's a lovely morning for it so uh, let's spin the camera around and have a look at some of the scenery the wonderful scenery that we can see
thinking, oh, what a lovely way of life, wouldn't it be on a living on a narrow boat? Stowaway, that one's called. I think that's probably seen better days. I don't know about you. All the windows are smashed. Well, most of the windows are smashed. Wow. You know, this, this lad, he sort of slowed right down for us, so there's hardly any turbulence on the water. And, uh, normally they come racing up here, as I mentioned in previous videos, and they come up here at the right rate of knots and buffet you all over the place, but fair play to him. All right, so I just wanted to do a little update, really, since my last video, because it's been quite a while since I've, up I've uploaded one. Um, a week or so ago, whatever, me and, me and Craig and my grandson um, Jack, we went to Dracoles to do a, a night paddle. And uh, we did do the night paddle. I was in the my yellow itty whip. Um, uh, and my intention was to film that, uh, that paddle, but the boat was, every time I was trying to um, faff about with the camera, the boat was just tracking all over the place. It was, in the end, I just give up. Horrendous. Something, something seriously wrong, wrong with it. It seems okay if I'm paddling it on, you know, just by myself. But as soon as there's someone else in there, the tracking is unbelievably bad. Uh, I took it to the Cathlon. Um, cut a long story short, they couldn't work out what the hell was wrong with it. But um, I've decided to. Um, upgrade to the the same kayak but three seater so which I'm picking up um, tomorrow actually now as Jack's getting a little bit um, taller um, you know for, we go out kayak camping that little bit of extra space um, will be quite handy I would have thought so yeah the service I have to say that the service that I've always received from Decathlon has been really good I, I can't I can't fault them as a company really really helpful you know it's quite refreshing the only thing that I would say is that I took mine back to Sheffield and um, the one thing that they did say is that because I'm six foot tall <laughs> the one thing that they'd say is perhaps that kayak's not designed for people that are six foot <laughs> I don't know why um, I don't know who's trying to offer some kind of explanation as to why the tracking was that bad god only knows i wouldn't have thought that being six foot would have any bearing on the way that a kayak tracks to be fair but there you go but um, you know to be you know to be fair to decathlon brilliant service as per usual you know i've, I've bought a lot of kayaks from them i've spent a lot of money in there you know and and i will continue to 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 to, to use decathlon um because i can't think the customer services so real big thumbs up to them so we did do a night paddle at drake holes um it was a great experience if you've never paddled at night before you know go and do it it's it's a different experience altogether um and something that i really enjoy unfortunately i just give up trying to record that trip it just got too much um, I've also had a few um, emails from people asking me if I could update them on the little Shetland boat that I recently bought uh, from York Marina. Um, so <clears throat> now's a good time to, to do that. Um, yeah, I've, I've, got, I've got the boat, um, it's at home. Um, I've been doing some modifications. I'm really happy with the boat, but there's a, there's a few, few things that I wanted to change. Um, Craig's done quite a lot of electrical work for me. We've put in some USB sockets, some uh, LED lights, um, a few other bits and pieces. Uh, put a horn on it, and um, I've insulated the, the cabin area and carpeted all that. And you know, really looks really looks nice. Really happy with the way that it's, it's turned out. Um, so I've got a few the bilge area. I want to do. I want to do a few bits and pieces to the bilge area. I've got a new leisure battery, um, and uh, and then it's just a case of there's a few little holes. 
sort of, sort of tiny holes really that I want to feel and touch in. Um, and then it's off to Louth. Um, the guy's looking at the engine for me. And then, all being well, we're going to be out on the high seas and, and the rivers. Probably, what, probably sometime mid to late May, I would have thought. And have, have a few adventures. Uh, so the, the cabin now is, is more comfortable to sleep in. It's got a, um, or it will be having a diesel heater in there as well. So it'll be nice and warm. So it's coming on really well. I'm really happy with it. Um, it's going to offer me a lot more opportunities to get away for weekends and that. Um, for me and Craig and myself and Jack and my wife. So um, it's a bit cramped inside. You sort of walk around on your knees, which, which is a bit odd. But um, it is what it is. Um, but I love it and I can't wait to, uh, to get out and enjoy it. Right, so just at our destination, Saxelby Millage, Village, 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 Moorings. Uh, this is just further up there, there's a load of fishermen. There's a seems to be like a fishing match. So we're not gonna, we're not gonna go that far. Um, a few boats here. One or two nice ones. A lot of uh, not so nice. So I think what we're going to do, we're just going to get out just here and uh, have a bit of breakfast, I suppose. The challenge, Craig, is uh, am I going to burn it today? Not enough. Big breakfast. Um, one side, maybe. One side. Gonna burn. <laughs> Should have learned your lesson, but it's only done one side. <sighs> thing is, it's like, I mean that's really low, I've got, I've got that set really low. Yeah. Alright, so, the problem is it's the, the heat's intense in one, one area, isn't it? I suppose, I don't know. Yeah. Mate, he's off back now. <sighs> set off again. You what? He's off. Aye. Uh, he would start his engine. I can't believe how quiet it is. Yeah. Right. How to burn food with your host, Lee Harris. <laughs> There's a bacon and black pudding in. Smells nice, yeah. I mean, it generally ends up tasting nice. It's just it's burnt. Next, mushrooms and onions.
and I don't like my mushrooms done too much and I don't like my, my onions done too much Was it? Yeah. North Kelsey. Just before I got married. Got a big dollop of butter on that as well, Craig. Look at that. Now you tell me that don't look inviting. Mm. It's already been seized, seasoned previously. Oh, uh, do everything properly. Turn it up a smidgen. That bubble away. Turn that down a bit, I think. Right, how are we doing? Bloody good these ridge monkeys, you know. Um, yeah, it's right for that one. I think that that is probably done. Personally. One side, turn that up. Well, the proof is in the tasting, as they say. Let's have a taste of this. Tastes really nice, even though, if I'm honest, slightly well done. Bouldering burnt. It's probably burnt on one side. <laughs> right. You know, when you're out sort of camping and that, who cares? It's filling, it's tasty, and it's enjoyable. <clears throat> so I bought myself a new stadium seat, one that's padded, bottom and back. And um, quite expensive actually. And um, I'm not happy with it. Got a backhoe. So I won't be using that no more. Go back to the old um, cheaper stadium seat with my gel cushion. That doesn't seem to offer any support. So I'll not be using that again. 
same way. I'm going to finish me breakfast, finish my coffee, change the battery on my camera because it's on red. And um, get up with you just about when it's time to get on the water. Happy days. Well, we're just sort of sitting here, me and Craig, just saying that there's sort of worse places to eat breakfast on a on a Sunday morning. It's lovely here, isn't it, mate? The boats yeah, all out, isn't it? It's lovely. Yeah. Fishermen. Now I've actually dropped in here and you sort of park along this road it's quite a busy road actually and then you have to sort of bring all your kit over this green bridge and drop in sort of over this side which um, it ain't too bad it's just a, can be a boy the worst thing is actually parking because there's at this moment in time there's no parking at all although I do think there's a fishing match on but uh, you know, I dropped in here and, and paddled up to uh, Talksy Lock, which is a nice paddle. Mind you, I was cream crackered afterwards. So there's a few fish been topping as we're sitting here. But it's, uh, it's a lovely morning. You know, a couple of boats have got the old stoves going. You get that lovely smell of wood and Really nice. Bird, load of bird song. One of them sounds like a referee's whistle. <laughs> Craig said it's definitely a bird. I think there's a football match going on over the back there. <laughs> look at that, look how steel that water is. So we're going to go against the tow on the way back, so it's going to be slightly harder, but I don't envisage it being a arduous paddle by any stretch of the imagination. So, yeah, that's our view. Whilst we've uh, demolished breakfast. Can't complain. Right, so that's us fed and watered and back paddling. So it's got about two hours, about four, four miles back to uh, where we dropped in. Um, it's going to take us about two hours at our pace. So it's a nice pedal back. Um, it's just nice to be out on the water, really. It's uh, something magical about it. There's no question. Kind of concludes today's pedal. I just got back, paddling for about a total of four four hours. Nice gentle paddle, no rush. It's a lovely stretch of water. This the Fosdyke navigation, and it's really nice in the summer because it don't weed up. Far more many boats sort of up and down this uh, stretch of water from Lincoln to Talksey, and boats coming from. The River Trent in you know through the lock at Tomsey. So yeah, you very rarely get weed, so it's the sort of place that I tend to paddle a lot in, in the summer actually. Um, so yeah, quite an interesting um, stretch of 
uh, water, lots of wildlife, um, lots of places to get out and stretch the legs. Um, so one or two pubs on, on the way to pull over and have a, have a drink in, in the summer. So yeah, really, really um, well worth a, a visit actually. So anyway, we're just about to, uh, to pull up. Um, if you've enjoyed the video, which I hope you have, please give it a uh, thumbs up, please like. Um, it really does help. And um, until the next time, um, I'll bid you farewell and safe and happy paddling.